Hello and welcome to this session in which we'll look at CPA exam changes that deals with the FAR section that's going to be taking place on July 1st, 2021. I already discussed the regulation section and I will be discussing AUD and, and BEC in separate recording. Please see please see all four recordings if you haven't taken the exam so this way you'll make the best decision for yourself. If not, this is specifically for FAR. If that's relevant for you, that's a good thing. Before I start, I would like to remind you that if you are a CPA candidate, I strongly suggest you check out my website, farhatlectures.com. Most likely, you do have a CPA course, and I'm not asking you to, uh, to get rid of it. On the contrary, I don't replace your CPA review course. I can be a useful addition. I can supplement your CPA review course by explaining the material better. I can add 10 to 15 points to your understanding for your CPA exam. And here's your risk. Invest for one month. Find out whether you like the system or not. Your maximum loss is $30. Your potential gain is passing the exam. I have helped, I have helped hundreds, if not thousands of students pass the exam. Why not? Why don't you take that chance? And if not for anything, check out my website to find out how well or not well your university doing on the CPA exam. Connect with me on LinkedIn and on LinkedIn you will see actual recommendation from actual candidate who are working in the real world pass the CPA exam using my resources in addition to their CPA course of course please like this recording share it connect with me on Instagram and Facebook now this session I'm going to be talking about FAR but remember that I already spoke about reg and you want to watch all four sections if you haven't taken the exam to make your decision because FAR and reg there's some some new information in the sense that they're going to be they're going to be they're going to be taking content out of these sections. So if you want to defer your exam until July 1st, it's not a bad idea. Although I, although I always recommend starting with FAR, maybe there's a reason here not to start with FAR if you, if you want to defer it, and we, you will see why in a moment. Now remember the exam skill levels are evaluation, analysis, application, remembering, and understanding. So topics are tested on a different level. For FAR, they're going to be downgrading the derivatives and hedge accounting from application to remembering and understanding. So that's one, the first positive thing. It's not, it's not going to make that much of a difference. If you understand it, you understand it. But basically, now when it comes to swaps, options, and forward, you just have to remember basic information about these topics rather than demonstrate knowledge, concepts, or techniques. So it's easier. You no longer have to do to worry about, for example, journal entries, maybe definitions here and there, concepts, so on and so forth. Content to be removed, and this is a big one for FAR, huge one. First one, the IFRS content is being removed, and that's a big one. That's a big one. Also, the going concern requirement. Now, you still need to know the going, if you look at the blueprint, you still need to, you still need to know the going concern for the audit section, but for FAR, you don't have to worry about this. It's not a big deal, going concern requirement. Nevertheless, it's being removed. One last thing to worry about. Compensated absences, how to compute the liabilities for compensated absences in the journal entries, that's also being removed. And the big one is retirement benefit. That's a big one. Pension cost and funded status. The reason they're doing these changes is because they believe a recent CPA may not need to know this information for the exam. That's, that's, that's the reasoning behind those changes. So, is there a reason to defer your exam after July 1st? Yes, if you're taken for and if you defer it, not a bad idea at all. Same thing with drag. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be discussing BEC and audit uh, in separate recording. You know, I would link all these recordings all together or I'll put them all in a playlist. Make sure to view them. You really want to make a strategic decision here because it makes a difference for these changes and they are good changes for FAR and RAG in a sense good they are removing major topics especially in RAG as well as you saw in FAR as well so something you want to strategically strategically think about before you sit for the exam anyhow good luck study hard and as always stay safe and check out my website for additional resources and to find out how well is your university doing for the CPA exam stay safe